Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm market analyst Adam Kahlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold and a potential reversal that has come about in recent days and weeks. So as we know, US inflation figures came out slightly better than expected or lower than expected last week after the CPI figures came out, which really put a dent in the US dollar. And this has caused a great deal of positivity to come back into the market in both equities and growth stocks. And the price of gold has seen and other commodities has seen a strong rebound in recent times. So as we have a look over at the price of gold on the weekly chart, let's just see what kind of points we've got here. So as we can see, we've bounced very well off that 200 week average. If we can move this down. We can see we've got a really strong support now at that 16, 1615 US dollar level. And again, we've, as I stated, have bounced off this point here and almost had a little bit of a double bottom as well, which we will have a closer look at on the daily chart. But we are getting very close to this um, this 50 week moving average uh, resistance zone. And as we can see, although it's still very early in the week, um, we are getting close to potentially testing this level, which may um, be a significant uh, point of resistance. But so far, we've definitely bounced, we've bounced off this level here at 1660, and the price is currently trading at about $1,770. So now as we have a look at potential trade entries and um, actual opportunities, again, what we see is that we've got this really significant, um, let's just put in these moving averages quickly, guys. Just bear with me one second. There's our 50 moving average, and this is our 200. Oops. And we're going to make that black nice and clear. So similar to um, similar to before, what we've done is we've broken through this um, this 50 day moving average for the first time really since pretty significantly since April. And more importantly, we've broken through this trend this long-term downtrend, which has been going since um, March this year of the Russian Ukraine crisis. Now, another thing that we can tell, which is really positive that we may be in a potential reversal, as I stated previously, as we stated previously, was this double bottom that we've got forming just over here. So as we can see, we've got those two bottoms and we've got our neckline that's just been broken. So what do we expect to go for? Well, maybe we are unable to go past this 200 day moving average and we come back and test the neckline before pushing forward. That would be a very um, possible outcome and could provide some very good um, risk reward for a potential long entry. So if we were to wait for this to come back, we're looking at this potential target up 2000 and uh, put that below that recent low. And that gives us a pretty good long-term target of 2.5 reward for one risk. Although we may go even smaller and say, okay, well, we'll put our low just below this, um, this uh, low candle at just below the neckline. And we may look for a, a smaller target, perhaps um, 2.7 risk reward at that recent that recent um, resistance level there. But the sentiment has definitely shifted with regards to gold and other growth commodities. And as we, and other commodities rather, and as we continue to see hopefully some lower inflation figures, we may see some momentum come back into the growth sector and commodity sector towards the end of the year. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed and good luck trading.